hello everyone welcome back to the tech cloud channel so in today's video we are going to discuss about udp as we know udp stand for user datagram protocol so this udp is also similar to tcp transmission control protocol this udp is a transport layer protocol you can also say it is a layer 4 protocol in osi layer or as per the tcp ip layer so first of all let's see how does udp works so what udp do it just assemble the udp packet and also adds it it own header in the packet before sending to the destination so in the packet it has source destination length and the checksum also another important thing the default timeout so in udp there is 30 to 60 seconds of the default timeout now let's see the other aspects of udp so udp's next is reliability if you talk about reliability so udp is not a reliable protocol because it does not ensure about the data delivery so there is no need to create a connection before data transfer in the udp if you are using a udp no need to worry about the connection setup before sending the data after reliability we have acknowledgement in udp we do not have acknowledgement udp does not provide any kind of acknowledgement after acknowledgement we have the sequence sequence is also important thing so whenever in the tcp a packet sent from source to destination tcp maintain a sequence number which is not in the udp so udp does not maintain the sequence of the data if it is required to maintain then it will be managed by application layer after sequence we have speed so udp is faster than tcp because it is lightweight it has a less header size also it does not care about the data delivery that's why udp is faster than tcp after speed we have error checking mechanism in UDP. So UDP has a very basic error checking mechanism that is called checksum. So it has only checksum, not like TCP because TCP has a flow control for error checking, but UDP has only checksum for error checking mechanism. After the error checking mechanism, we have header length. So UDP has eight bytes of fixed header length means you can see on the screen there is a diagram so it has source port destination port length and the checksum all of them are just 16 bit so every 16 bits is called as 2 byte so 2 byte is equal to 2 into 4 means 8 bytes fixed length of header after header so tcp does not provide retransmission there is no retransmission in TCP it does not says that if any packet is dropped from sending from source to destination so in that case it will not let's say there is a packet and if this source has sent 10 packets and if it has received destination received has only five packets so UDP does not care about the packet who are lost okay next we have handshake so similar to tcp udp does not provide any kind of handshake so there is no handshake in udp because it is also a connectionless protocol that's why next we have broadcasting so udp support broadcasting because it used to video conferencing streaming dns or vip so when we see when we talk about broadcasting so udp is the only protocol if we want to broadcast some information from one source to everyone so in that case we can use udp for broadcasting next we have the protocol who are works working on udp so this dns dscp tftp snmp rip and voip these are the some protocol who works on udp so this is all about udp thank you for watching if you like the video please like comment share and subscribe and also if you have any query or any question 
please let us know in the comment thank you for watching